I'm going to demonstrate how to combine one active dispersion image with another one passive dispersion image. First, I'm going to display active dispersion image. Each this one. And then I go to combine and select one of the passive dispersion image from circular receiver array, which is this one. And then program informs me of different scales between those two dispersion images. I'm going to proceed anyway. Yes. And most of the uh, default parameters here are sufficient in most cases. Click OK. And this is the overlapping zone. So I'm going to display only for this zone. So I change vertical scale here. Change up to 75 hertz. So this is combined zone of dispersion image. And this is after combining, and this is before combining. So with active dispersion image alone, I do not have a clear model interpretation for this zone. But once I combine those two images, I have much better interpretation of dispersion image. I'm going to demonstrate how to combine one passive dispersion image into multiple number of active dispersion images. For example, you have an active data set collected through conventional roll-along approach for the purpose of generating 2D velocity cross-section at the end. And during the active survey, you performed a passive survey approximately at the center of the survey line by using preferably larger dimension receiver array, which is preferably two-dimensional receiver array. And then you process that passive data to produce one passive dispersion image. And now you want to combine that passive dispersion image into all your active dispersion images to provide a constraint at lower frequency side of dispersion pattern, which is related to deeper investigation. So I first display active dispersion image. And I'm going to change the scale here. So as I go through all the active dispersion images, I see the dispersion images are not well defined. So I want to combine the passive dispersion image process. So here, go to combine, and then select this passive OT. And here, if you go to records, the program already selected this one as checked. Combine imported record to all other record also. So make sure this is checked, and click OK. And now, this is combined dispersion image. So as I go into next image of active image, that common passive image is also combined into this active image as well. So as I scroll through different active images, I see now dispersion trends are much better defined.